Okay, so open up the image that you're going to edit. Then go to image adjustments and black and white, make it black and white. Maybe experiment with some of the sliders to see what effect that has, maybe make it a little bit more dramatic. Then you want to open some textures. So I've got an ink texture, like a brush stroke kind of texture. Um, and then just like some really nice tactile surfaces. Then what we want to do is to drag those layers into the main image because they open as different tabs. So you want to click on the layer, drag it into your main document. And then so that you don't get confused with all of the tabs, just delete them as soon as they've been inserted into the main document that you're going to be working on. Then go to then you might want to, yeah, so you might want to move them, make them invisible so that you're just working with one at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the canvas size a little bit bigger because obviously uh, Ian Murphy's work sort of fades off and has a nice bit of canvas to frame what he's drawing. So I've just made that a little bit bigger than what it was. Move that image to the top. Then I'm going to filter, liquefy, and just drag down some of the elements to kind of try and add that sort of drip effect that he creates in his work and that sort of fading away kind of effect that he creates as well. I just need to make the canvas size a little bit bigger once more because uh, I don't think that the space around it is enough. So again, just move that image to the top. Liquify it again just to correct some of those flat edges there that I've created at the bottom. So again, filter, liquify, or I could use the blur tool as well just to um, soften some of those edges, make the brush size a little bit bigger. So blur some of that out. Then again, yep, yeah, liquefy that. Then make some of those textures visible again. So edit, free transform, and then make them bigger. You need to be, make sure that you're on the layer that you want to transform, otherwise it won't select the right thing. So yep, yeah, make that much bigger. Then you might want to experiment with the settings of that layer. So instead of it being normal, go to overlay or experiment with its opacity. Again, so it's not complicated, just do one image at a time and make the other one invisible so that your image doesn't get too crowded. And then repeat that process for each image that you're going to add in, each texture that you're going to add. Then once you've done that, make all of the layers visible, experiment with which layer needs to go where, how high up do they need to go, etc. Then go to File, Save as JPEG, experiment with, again, the visibility of each layer. File, Save as JPEG each time you do a different edit. And then also make sure that you remember to go to File, Save as PSD as a Photoshop file so that you can keep this document and come back to it later if you need to.